Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here, back with another, like, uh, what do I call these? Informative. Uh, just a video of me talking, pretty much. We are going to play a game in AI, um, just to show you guys how to quickly get your dailies done. Um, but this video is going to serve three, well, like, three and a half purposes. One, I have a little bit of an announcement. It's nothing bad. I just want to let you guys know. Um, you know, it's, it's actually the growth of my channel. It's a good announcement, but... Uh, uh, there's something to come on that, so later in the video. Um, the first thing that I really want to talk about is the Research Bureau. Uh, base, you know, judging off of the matchmaking, I'm guessing there's a lot of new players uh, to the game recently, which is a good thing. Um, but I'm at, that being said, I want to coach, uh, you know, some of these newer players through the Bureau. So I will timestamp this video. You know, if you've already know all the Bureau tips and tricks, just go ahead and skip through, and we will talk about that. But if you do not... Um, go to the research bureau and after you have done your intro to the research bureau, you should to do not also do not spend gold on the intro to the research bureau project it is a complete waste uh please do not spend gold on that after that if you have if you do not have premium you will be able to select one ship or one project now the california i think is gone as well as i don't know if the leg the other legendary birthday i'm guessing it's gone as well but uh my regardless of that whatever ship you want it for me it would be the Kleber. the Kleber is the best ship in the game right now hands down no questions asked you can say whatever you want to say it 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 is um or or whatever ship you want if you're a really big kaba fan or or whatever select that ship and then when you select it the the project will start now you have to log in every 24 hours for the project to keep going uh, i purposely did not select the uh the boosters on this to to show you guys how fast it would take. Um, so as you can see, we're ticking very slowly here. The progress without any boosters would be literally half of this in 24 hours. Um, so even if you just log in every day, you can get these done in a decent amount of time. Uh, but without any boosters or commanders, it will take you a while to do that. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to select the boosters. Now, for each project, it's... Now, this is the Star Spangled one, where the it's just the camo, and then at the end we get the Oklahoma. So it's going to be American-based and, you know, a lot of the commanders and such. But, for example, like, let's say the Gross Occur first. A, a majority of them at the end are going to be, like, the German battleship commanders, or at least I think. I, I don't really remember for each specific one, but hopefully um, Wargaming kind of bases that around those, and that's... You know, it's a mix of commanders, but you will have to upgrade them, and I, I do recommend doing that, at least for the, the ones that you, you play with. For me, I do play the Sim with Sims a lot, Ernest King not so much, but I have him upgraded. So we're going to go ahead and select him, and as you saw, as soon as we selected him, our progress jumped by almost triple fold. Um, so we're going to select King as well, and there we go, our progress boosted again. So in 24 hours, we'll have that much done. We log in 24 hours again, and it will keep going, so on and so forth. In the meantime, we have ships to select from as well. Now, if you do not have the Georgia or the Florida, just select these two. But as you can see, the Florida does four points per second and the Georgia does five. So obviously you want to choose those ships, Florida and then Georgia. Uh, this is a little way of Wargaming making you spend money to, to boost along the, the research project. It, Wargaming is all about making money and I, you, I'm fine with that. I think a lot of us are. Um, I just want people to be aware of what they're spending their money on and how Wargaming tricks them into spending that money. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to go ahead. Let's just do a game in the Georgia. Actually, I'm going to do the North Carolina. Um, now, I want to I want to test something here, but we're going to go ahead and put it in. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put it in. These are your daily trials. You want to um, select the ones with the most points, but I just kind of want to play the North Carolina here. The Florida would get you more, as you can see, 150 daily bonus, and you can do that once per day. In the meantime, you can also use gold to boost through. I would not use gold, um, or doubloons on these. You can only boost, I think, 40% of each research project. Now, for me, I did boost the Club Air and obviously the Alaska, if any of you know my channel for a good amount of time. That's how I got started on YouTube, really. Um, I was the first to get the Alaska, and a lot of people wanted to see it. Regardless of that, do your daily trials, and you can do them in AI or standard. Um, let me just make sure it, show, it says that. Win a, win a daily battle. It doesn't say where... Uh, it doesn't say it. But you can do it in AI. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And also, before I go into the battle... If you have pre if you do not have premium, you can select one of these projects. If you do, you can select two of them. Now, if you have if you're like me, you have you only have two available. But if you're a little bit newer to the game, you could have more available. 
with more available, once you do your daily trials, for example, once I do the, uh, did I pick? Yeah, I chose the North Carolina and the Georgia. If you have those two ships, just go ahead and, and you really want to boost this project, go into your into AI, do those two battles, win the games, and move on. The second thing is once you're done with that, you can select another project. Now, when you select that other project, we don't have any available, Your uh, the research for the other project will stop. So do the one you want first, and then do the other one, the dailies for that one, and then select, go back to whichever project you want to be active for that 24 hours. I hope that makes sense. If, if not, ask me in the comments down below. But moving on to the second part of this video, you know, obviously do your daily trials. We're just going to play the North Carolina just because I kind of like North Carolina. Um, the second part of this video is talking about uh, the, the success of my channel. And I'm going to go ahead and reference that win rate video that I put up. And I, some people disagreed with me, and that's fine. You're allowed to disagree with me. Nobody has to agree with me. But at the same time, I also I wanted to show you guys what you are watching. Um, as a community contributor, I try to provide insightful, new, and correct information. I'm not right all the time. I'm, I'm not the best at the game, but I'm pretty damn good. I know that sounds rather arrogant, but there was part 1A and part 1B of the, the win rate video, and I wanted to show you guys my stats because I want people to realize that I know what the fuck I'm talking about when I say it. Like, it, for my, you know, I have a destroyer video that I might post the day before I post this one or the day after. I'm going to do a, a couple. I've done this before, but I'm, I'm going to do it again because I see destroyer players with, with no clue what they're doing. Uh, just just out there, you know, in the abyss. Uh, and I want people to realize that I, I have a little bit of a clue of what I'm talking about. So that's what I wanted to reference in that stats video or talk, you know, bring up. Uh, if you're exclusively a solo player and you don't have division players to play with, I, I'm not... The point of that video wasn't to say I'm better than you or you're trash or whatever. I'm just telling you where I stand from. This this game is a team game. There's nine people on this team. And it will be that way unless matchmaking fucks up or you have crossplay turned off. So... You can be good as a solo player, but at the end of the day, it's a team-based game. It's how well you perform as a team. End of story, that's the end of the argument. You can disagree all you want, but it's you, you don't see solo players going into clans on PC. Now, the PC game, uh, moving into like part 3B here, the PC version is in turmoil right now with all of the community contributors leaving and the absolute scams that Wargaming uh, is, is trying to pull off. And I hope that it doesn't come to this game, but I think you guys know I'm pretty... Uh, I'm pretty uh, transparent, and I, I won't, you know, if it comes down to it, we'll we'll have a discussion when it comes down to it. But that's why I do a lot of the videos like the Cabert with Twist and Track, and, and just other videos that talk about things that I think are not necessarily great for the game. Uh, you know, like, you don't have to run Cabert with the Twist and Track, but you get a great player that does that, and it's, it's rather overpowered, you know? I, I, th there's this balancing factor that I want to achieve and and keep you know keep at a good balance for the game if not we're just going to have all these people running around in overpowered ships and it kind of happens did i miss kind of happens anyway um but besides that that was the point of the stats video it wasn't to shove my stats down your throat or say i'm better than you blah 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 it was to show you guys where i'm coming from and and how much i've improved i was 59 as a solo player i was 59 percent. so like it, you know it wasn't it wasn't like i was I was 64% as solo or something like. I, I was right with uh, a lot of these players uh, who are who are saying solo is better. So, you know, it's mixed argument there. But anyway, we're moving on. Uh, the the third and kind of final part of this video though is I um, just reached 3,000 subscribers. I wanted to say thank you to to all of you who subscribe. Anyone watching this video really. Uh, and to let you guys know that memberships uh, should be live by the time this video is taken care of. Or I have secondary build on. Uh, and if you guys want to, so be, you know, become a member of the channel, it's uh, it would be a, an honor, really. But at the same time, I want everyone to know I am studying for the MCAT right now, and like, there's like some option that you know they suggest you use a high dollar value amount for. Don't you know? Don't. I, I will not be available all the time to fulfill the 
utmost requirements from that option. It's just, I just put it there because YouTube recommended it. So if you want to do that, go ahead. I'm just letting you guys know I have other goals that I'm trying to accomplish. And I cannot be available to <laughs> to stream with you 24-7 is what I'm trying to say. Um, and even if nobody becomes a member, I'm still grateful for all of you guys uh, that watch my videos daily. I mean, that's, yeah, it's it's really, when I think about it, it's unbelievable, you know, how far that we've come. 3,000 people, just click that subscribe button, and even then, like, 40% of people that watch my videos are unsubscribed. Um, so, you know, a lot of people watch the channel, and it, that's a good thing. I'm trying to promote good, uh, positive team play and, and play that helps, you know, make the game more fun, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not always right. I, you know, but I'm I'm more right than I am wrong. Uh, if if I do say so myself, that opinion's probably pretty biased. But hopefully we, yeah, of course. Hopefully we can finish this game. Just a boring game, but I wanted to help the people uh, with the bureau. Uh, just get the win. Oh my gosh, guys! And also take AI. You know, I didn't really get a drive by on a battleship, but when I do these AI games and battleships, I try to work on my drive bys. Uh, because we don't have training rooms, which is... I honestly, here, this might be a little conspiracy theorist of me, but I don't think we have training rooms. So that way, Wargaming can't... That we can't test some of these things that we have questions about, like... Uh, does Yamamoto increase overpens? Does... Uh, reversing... You know, like, some of these things that you, that you, you can test in Standard, but it would be very difficult to. But, and also it doesn't make them money, which, again, I understand Wargaming is a business, but for for some of the stuff they do, they like the armor viewer, you guys have heard this speech before, that they, they need to listen to their players a little bit more and not just be so worried about the next uh, campaign or the next set of crates, in my opinion. If they did, if they were at a happy medium of both, I think they would keep the players like myself and a lot of people that watch me, you know, the regular players... Happy as well as bring in a lot of new players. Can you imagine the the videos that Peek and myself or anyone could do um, with training rooms? We could do USA versus IJN. We could do one tier seven versus five tier twos or something like that. You know, just fun videos. That was a great dispersion. Fun videos that would blow up on the YouTube algorithm. You know, to to really grow this game. But they're like, oh, well, it doesn't make us money, so it's not high priority. Well, you know what? I don't... That That's such a shit response to me that just says they don't care. And if you're watching what's happened on PC, uh, they, they, I don't think they do. Uh, that being said, I love this game, and I don't want it to go down that path. But I just... Some of the stuff I see and hear, uh, you know, it's like the, the spawns. Why did it take six months for the spawns to get fixed? Like, that's something that, like, if you played the game twice at Legendary Tier, you would realize the spawns were ruined. Now, they did fix it, so thank you for fixing it, but it's like, you know, an abusive ex-husband or ex-wife, you know, it's like, oh, well, she beat me, she didn't beat me tonight after six months of beating me. You know, it's a little too late. Can, can these guys just die? I want this game to end. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Please, please, just die. Please. But, yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. We're going to finish up with the Bureau here. So, you know, appreciate you guys that have stayed along for the 15-minute the, the, the ride here. That is me just blabbering on and on. How to increase your Bureau. Do the dailies. Make sure you have all the commanders and ships upgraded. Make sure you log in once per day. Uh, other than that, I don't think you can switch the ships once you've completed it. We will double-check that with the, the completion of the North Carolina here. Please, just fucking kill him. Please. Don't try and torpedo him. Just fucking shoot him in the face. Please. Oh my god, we're gonna have to... <laughs> oh, I hate when games like this... Guys, if you're if you're the last destroyer alive and there's seven enemies in a standard... Just, just, just give up. <laughs> unless there's a unless you're winning just give up thank you All right, let's check the twitch chat here it's not loading typical there we go 
And you can see in the menu screen there, we have 100k towards the completion of our, you can see it, oh, there it is on the Bureau of Trials. Now let me just double check, I don't think, I tried to do this last time. Yeah, so once you select, uh, for example, the, the North Carolina, you cannot complete a different trial. I think that was different at the beginning of the Bureau. I'd have to go back and watch my video. Um, so, for example, I should probably have chose the Florida, but like I said, I just wanted to play the North Carolina. But, guys, that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for 3K. Um, you know, also, I'm for the stats part, I wasn't trying to shove my stats down your guys' throat. It's a competitive game. I... I am sunk all the time, you know, but at, but at the end of the day, I do know what I'm talking about. You know, people came up with a you know list of excuses why solo. You you don't see solo players in clans. Um, it, that's just the reality of it. I don't want to be. I'm not you know. If, I'm not trying to be a dick about it, but that's just the reality of it. Uh, it's a team based game. There's still eight other people on your team, even if you do queue up solo. So. That is it. That is the Research Bureau. Thank you for 3K. I will be on vacation. Uh, it's the girlfriend's birthday. We're going out of town for a few days. I'm going to post this the day I leave. I I'm pretty sure it should be Monday when we leave or Sunday. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll post it one of those two days just so you guys can have a little you know, awareness. Thank you guys for 3K. Join the channel if you want to. Memberships are live. Got three levels there. Love all you guys. Appreciate the, the success that you guys have given me. Um, and again, I will try to be as transparent and as honest of a CC as I can. I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be. Uh, I definitely make mistakes. I can get frustrated easily. But, you know, we're here and uh, we're trying to, to play the game that we really enjoy. Thank you, guys. A, a run out. Peace.